Okay, so I am bringing this much equipment today. I've got an hour to kill. I'm gonna bring one Senko stick, one frog and stick, and my bag full of GoPro batteries and miscellaneous junk. I've got literally two frogs, a pack of Senko, and some hooks that I'm bringing today. That is it. Oh, so much junk in here. This is brutal. I don't even need this much stuff. Okay, let's go. First drop down there, and I got that guy on the Senko, and dude, he held onto it like no other. I mean, it was one initial bite, and the hook is already like right at the roof of its mouth. Not a bad little fish. I do believe that might be the female. It's a kind of a small female, but regardless, it's a nice fish. Gonna put him real quick back on the fry because he's got a job, and that is to keep those fries safe. <laughs> All the way. There you go. There you go. There you go. And he should go back to his newly hatched fry. So I'm going to put just a little bit of garlic scent on here in hopes for a longer bite. I don't do this all the time, but it's a pretty decent way to just kind of get them to hold on for a few seconds longer. It enables that kind of real solid hook set. Yeah, and there that goes. All right, that should be good. My Senko is soot. Some sparse grass up ahead. I'm hoping maybe there's some Senko eaters over there. Hoping maybe. I don't know. Wow, it is hot out here. My CI4 is just cooking. There's a fish. Little guy. I put it right in the grass too, which I don't really want. I don't think he's. He might be 12. Wow, he looks like he's loaded with a bunch of food. He's got like a. Um, I don't know what that is. Might be that fin is too big to be a bluegill. It's too colorful to be a bluegill too. I guess it could be maybe a crappie. All right, that's number two. I would say that's 12 inches. So we're gonna count him. See, you, bud. There's another decent little cruiser just right there, about the same size as the first one that I caught. Gonna see if I can kind of back up, take a more finesse approach, and catch him on my first cast. Oh, he's got it. Got him. <laughs> Took him a while to eat it. A little bit smaller than that first one, but still a decent little garter. Nice fish. All right, get back on them fry. Wow, that water's so warm. It's like 70 degrees. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. No way. That was awesome. I don't even know where that fish came from. Look how he ate that Senko. Man, he choked that thing. Just a bit of scent can make a difference, I suppose. Nice fish, though. That's number four. Oh, I'll see you, guy. That's a decent one, I think. No, that's not that decent. He's little. I don't think this guy's over 12. I don't know. It's tough to tell. That's not over 12. He's not even at 12. All right, see you guys. There's one. Oh, that little guy. Get in here. Get in here. That's definitely 12 inches. With the cabbage, he's about 15. Oh yeah, that's a 12 for sure. He just busted right there, right before I was about to move. There he is. Oh, that might have. Oh, wow. Three squeaks in a row like that. That's pretty insane. That's another 12, I think. Another squeaker. Well, I managed to catch those five 
decent keepers in under two hours. It's not a great accomplishment, but I was out here just kind of having some fun before I had to get some things accomplished like uploading this video and like a hundred more. I'm gonna run some errands, get on the editing scene and get this video guys your way as soon as possible. So I went ahead and picked up some groceries for this little Memorial Day cookout. I just like to splurge sometimes when I'm at grocery stores. I actually spend, if not more, equal amount of money on groceries as I do as fishing tackle. Like, I don't even know why I got this total impulse buy. Uh, what else did I get? Um, yeah, just doing a little grocery unboxing. Got some chicken, got some energy drink. Got some of the best barbecue sauce on earth. Wait a minute, where'd my other stuff go? I feel like I get other stuff. I got a bunch of other random stuff, but the one thing I came to the grocery store to get is not here, or I don't know, oh, it's right here. Buns, turkey dogs, and the big surprise that my dad will be cooking today, some lobster tails. I love seafood. Probably my second most favorite food is lobster right under just regular crab. I'm just gonna basically finish and edit my video out here while my dad does the cookout. Just to kind of give you the lay down, I've got the Atlanta day one and day two video. And then I've also got a compilation of a bunch of clips that I've been recording from Canada. I don't know if I got like a solid one episode and they have one or two. It's just so confusing because I've like, I was there for 10 days, like, excuse me, nine full days. So I've got like all this crazy footage I really don't know what to do with. So I'm here on my computer just kind of scratching my head wondering what I'm gonna do with all of this footage. And I've got today's vlog to finish too. I'm very, very close to being finished with this video, but I had to stop what I'm doing to take a look at the last piece to the Memorial Day cookout meal. Those little lobster tails look so good. Oh man. Something's under our desk al deck alive and screaming out. She's so. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's that's creepy though. That's really creepy. Here you go. I guess that's the downside of having a porch. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's making like a you hear you hear make a rattling noise? Listen. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Yeah. There's so much going on down there. Like it sounds like seven different types of animals. It's like directly down there. Like if you pull up one of these boards, you can see them for sure. That's weird. <laughs> that was really weird and it just stopped. Ooh, all that uh, alien screeching set aside. The lobster tails done. All that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Spread is looking pretty decent. Got the tails there. Um, there should be some stuff in there. Some sweet potato fries. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the cheesy turkey burgers. And we got the turkey dogs. Stay. 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 I don't know if you guys caught that, but that was a mother doe with her little baby fawn. They're actually kind of setting up shop in our backyard right now and it drives the big black dog that we have absolutely insane. Oh. It's the perks living in the middle of the forest, I guess. <laughs> Hey, hey, Dino, they're gone. <laughs> oh my God.